I was afraid I wouldn't be taken seriously, Riley Ko says of filmmaking, friendship, and privilege. Riley Keough was in a South Dakota motel in 2015, ready to film a scene in Andrea Arnold's American Honey. As the hours passed, she struck up a conversation with two extras, Bill Reddy and Franklin Sue Bob, two Native American males from the adjacent Pine Ridge Reservation. It was one of those situations where we started talking and never stopped, Keough explains. Then it was lunchtime, and I found myself asking, can I sit with you? Keough and the two men swapped numbers and, after shooting wrapped, she flew from Los Angeles to the reservation for a holiday, joined by her friend and producing partner Gina Gamel. For a couple of weeks, they drove around, having fun, messing about making music videos for Sue Bob, a musician. We were 26 and had nothing to do, so we just spent the summer hanging with our friends. It was a beautiful summer friendship. That spur-of-the-moment holiday was the first of many visits and the beginning of a creative partnership. Seven years later, it has led to a film, War Pony, directed by Kyo and Gamel, working from a script by Reddy and Sue Bob, writing about growing up on the reservation. War Pony follows the lives of two young Oglala Lakota men on the res whose paths converge at the end of the film. Bill is a vivacious 23-year-old with a mix of swagger, hustle, and kindness. He's supposed to be looking for money to bail out his girlfriend. Instead, Bill spends $1,000 on a poodle and devises a strategy to breed dogs. Matho, a rambunctious 12-year-old, gets into trouble when he steals crystal meth from his drug dealer father. Surprisingly, both actors are first-timers who were cast from the reservation. Non-professionals is the term, Kyo explains. But I despise it because they're so professional. War Pony won the Camera Door Award for Best Debut Feature at the Cannes Film Festival last year.